ora, hello and welcome to our viewers across New Zealand, Australia and the South Pacific Islands. I'm Philip Duncan with your forecast for the weekend and the outlook for next week. And we've got a lot of high pressure at the moment in the New Zealand area and coming out of Australia. But some big rainmakers are on the way and we'll get into all of that, not only in New Zealand, but Australia as well. And we kick off with uh, more of a discussion about what's going on around the South Pacific Islands. We're going to try and include you a lot more, especially as we're going into La Nina. So therefore, this part of the world is going to be a little bit more interesting. With warmer sea surface temperatures up here, there's a higher risk of low pressure zones, tropical storms, thunderstorms, that sort of stuff, La Nina weather. So at the moment, there's a small area of low pressure or a trough, uh, which is like a pothole in the sky, forming in here between Fiji and Vanuatu. So that's going to increase the chance of downpours. You can see low pressure across Australia in the darker colours, uh, a low pressure system just here moving through towards Adelaide. And over the New Zealand area, a big block of high pressure all the way out here, but the small low to the north of New Zealand, really making the forecast pretty tricky. Some of you would have seen today rain and thunderstorms, cloudy and dry when you woke up. That's because we've got the right ingredients for rain and thunderstorms, but it's a little bit like cooking popcorn and the temperature's just not quite high enough. High enough to maybe make a couple of kernels pop, but not necessarily enough to make, you know, the sky turn into a big thunderstorm. But we will be seeing some areas of thunder and downpours, so we need to keep an eye on that. Speaking of the localized downpours in New Zealand, we're still tracking this rain falling along the eastern side of the North Island, very La Nina-like. Now next week we go back to westerlies, normal spring weather, so this will stop. But we've got more patchy rain and showers. You can see it's a lot more broken up at the moment on the live Met Service rain radar when we recorded this. And by the way, you can get all this now from the weather watch website. Speaking of that rain, here it is in the forecast for the next three days, uh, starting from seven o'clock Friday morning. So that's through until Monday. And the areas in the shading there getting up around 50 to 60 millimeters still yet to come through. But hopefully it's going to be a bit more spread out now. And you'll notice a little bit of that wet weather in the days ahead will come down into Canterbury won't be much, it'll be drizzle or just a you know, few light spits of rain. And then Australia, look at this, gosh, seven days of rain coming through for you. Alice Springs has got about 80, 90 millimetres of rain. The annual rainfall total in Alice Springs is 282. So that's a lot of rain falling through the inland areas and straight out to the east. This looks very much like La Nina is forming. And just quickly, before we get into the forecast, the temperatures in New Zealand at the moment, Friday, the areas here in the darker shading through a large portion of the central South Island, over eight degrees above average. Similar story again on Saturday, but notice the eastern areas, you're actually going the other way around Hawke's Bay, you're below normal for this time of the year. But nighttime temperatures along the eastern side of the North Island, that cloud makes for cooler days, but warmer nights. Now let's get into the forecast. Here is Saturday's setup. No real change for New Zealand. Low pressure lies here. Easterlies, wet weather still hangs around. It looks as though the whole North Island's got rain. That's not the situation. What it's saying is there's a risk of some wet weather coming through across those inland areas, more likely in the form of showers or sort of spots of rain as it comes through with higher clouds. There might also be some localized heavier downpours in the afternoon. The South Island's much drier, but some drizzle patches possible in that northeast corner. We've got downpours up here, but Fiji looks as though you're just south of them. Uh, windy weather just quickly on Saturday as well. The main area of windy weather will be through Cook Strait once again. Coastal parts of Taranaki and Whanganui getting gusts of around 40 to 50 k's an hour just shy of gale force in those exposed areas. So Saturday will be a bit windy still through central New Zealand. By the time we get to Sunday we've got that low pressure zone in the North Island finally starting to move away out to sea, but it doesn't just stop straight away. Still cloudy weather around the North Island, a couple of showers, very low accumulation for most places, but still could be a couple of downpours around Napier, Hastings and further south. And also look at the South Island, a few showers possible on Sunday coming into North Canterbury, Kaikoura and parts of Marlborough. Hot and dry elsewhere and downpours now spreading across Australia. As we get into Monday of next week, those downpours, we just talked about Alice Springs, that's them starting there on Monday and could be some thunderstorms along the eastern side. New Zealand's pretty settled, but again, there could be an afternoon downpour bubbling up, high pressure, light winds, and we've got thunderstorms developing around Tonga and Fiji. On Tuesday, 
Okay, so this is looking a lot more spring-like again in New Zealand because we've got this change coming. This is the westerly winds returning after the La Nina easterlies we've just had. So on Tuesday, you'll start to see those westerlies. By the way, they're not really showing up yet on the map, but what we're seeing here is that high pressure zone and low pressure zones and the windy westerlies are down here. So those are the winds we do expect to reach New Zealand at some point. Um, and they'll probably arrive more so next weekend. Our final map for Wednesday shows a low pressure zone coming into the South Island. This will also encourage windy westerlies to come back, rain around Fiordland and the southern half of the west coast, some rain into Southland as well, dry elsewhere. But like I say, as we go through the rest of next week, the high moves through, and then those westerly winds, we think, will come back in next weekend and then dominate for the following week. So we're getting a bit long range there. Anyway, that is all from me. The last thing I just wanted to quickly end on was apart from the rainmaker and low pressure zone in central Australia, is also seeing more easterlies up here, more downpours around Fiji and Tonga. You'll see a lot of easterly winds coming through around the South Pacific Islands over the next few months because of La Nina. That is all from me. We'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.